Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. As you can see from the title, we are doing a part two. If you haven't already watched my very first How to Catch a Cheater Using an iPhone video, that video is my most popular video. Got a lot of crap on that video, but hey, this world is wild. Anyways, we have to do a part two. We have to. So stay tuned. Let's just get into it. People are grimy. Some people are very sneaky, full of shit, living double lives. They're a completely different person from who they are and when they're on their phone and what they got going on in their phone. People are just very, very weird. And this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not telling you to hack people's phones. This is not a hacking video, okay? All right, this is if you have permission to go onto your partner's phone. These are just settings that I have on my phone. My partner can check my phone, looking at these settings and going into this settings basically and can find whatever they want. And I feel like these specific settings will reveal some information that may play a role in their sus activity or whatever they're doing in their secret world. Man, my people are very protective of their phone. <sighs> It's like they have the Da Vinci code on their phone or something. It's very weird. What are you doing on that phone of yours? My battery died. I had to switch out my battery. Okay, let's get into it. We already know people are just grimy. They're not genuine. They're not honest. And going into these settings with having their permission, I need to say that because is it illegal to go onto somebody's phone without their permission? This is for entertainment purposes only. Do what you want with this information. These are settings that you can find on your own phone, okay? Your partner can check your phone. You can check their partner's phone as long as you guys have each other's permission. Okay, website data. <laughs> this is the settings that will show what websites they go on, what they basically search up in their Safari on their phone. Not too many people know about this setting. I'll show you guys. Website data. I'm not gonna connect my uh, Bluetooth or like do a screen recording just because it's gonna show some personal information on my phone, but I'll show you guys my phone. You have your phone with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so website data basically shows their browsing history. So we're gonna go to settings. Scroll down to, man, I'm spilling my secrets. People are gonna get better at cheating and lying. Fuck. If you have to use this video to better your cheating lying skills, you're a loser. Let me just say that, you're a fucking loser. Scroll down into Safari. Scroll all the way down. Does it show personal information? No. So you're in the Safari settings and then you're gonna go to advance. Click on that and then you're gonna have, okay, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not giving out no personal information. So I'm gonna hack my shit and take my identity. I don't know who would want to do that, but then we're gonna go to at the top website data. Do I have any porn sites now? Okay, good. So here it'll show all the websites that they have visited. I believe even if they clear their history, this will show. If it shows nothing on here, they're clearing out their website data, which yikes. Like if you have to clear your data, I know I clear my data, but it's always because I'm googling weird shit and I'm looking at weird shit. It's not that I'm hiding anything. People are just weird, like. So it'll literally show all the websites that you've been on. Let me see if I get There is remove all website data. So if you want to clear your data, you can do that. Or you can do show all websites and it'll show. Let me see if I have any weird sites. Let me minimize that website. Oh no, I can't. So once you expand it, you can actually show all website data and it'll show like every website you've been on, how much megabytes or storage i guess how long they've been on the website or what they do on the website it'll show in storage type that's another one website data see this is why i don't really want to do these types of videos because i feel like people are just gonna know the secrets and they're gonna try to hide better Ugh. but you know what let people do what people do whatever they do in the dark will come to light trust me Trust me. They're checking purchase apps and apps that are not on the iPhone. So say they download the app Tinder, but when they come home from work or when they're around you, they delete it and act as if it's not on their phone so they don't use it. You can check that. I think everyone knows how to check this. You just go to your app store, click on your pictures at the top. Okay, I'm just trying to check if there's personal information. And then there is a tab that says purchased. Sorry, I'm not even showing you guys purchased and then they have all which is all the apps that are on your physically on your phone visible 
visibly on your phone and then there's also a tab that says not on iPhone so I've said they download it but deleted or is hiding there you go so it'll show all the apps that they downloaded that are no longer on their iPhone I have some really weird ones my son downloaded a lot of freaking kid apps but yeah it'll show what apps they downloaded but don't have on their phone or choose to hide from their home screen that's a thing people be hiding shit like that inputting their numbers into hookup meeting dating apps or websites just putting their email all their emails their phone number and you will find out if they have an account or not so that's another quick way i think a lot of people know this seeing if they have an account that's another way to catch them like hey i can't sign up on tinder why is that you already have an account with Tinder? Hey, I can't get into Christian Mingle. Are you trying to mingle with other Christians already? Oh, you already signed up for Snapchat. You just probably delete the app when you're around me and you log into that shit when I'm not around. People are so freaking... Now I'm getting mad. Like, why do we need to look up these settings to see if you're hiding something? Why? Well, we don't have to, but I'd rather know than not know, you know. Next is significant locations. That'll show all the locations that they've been at, how frequently, what time they leave, what time they get to that destination, and what time they leave that destination, how frequent. It'll show all of that. So let me check that. So you're gonna go to settings. I'm not gonna show you because it has like my Wi Fi information and stuff. Settings, and then you're gonna go to scroll down and scroll down to privacy and security, which is this one right here. And then you're gonna go to location services at the top and then you're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. At the bottom, you're gonna see a system services and then you have all these things turned on, right? You're gonna scroll, not all the way down, to the bottom where it says significant locations. So this is what you will see. So basically, you'll have a summary showing records from this date to that date and how many records of like how many places they've been at. And then they'll show like a map of the location. Shoot, you can't click on it. Why? That's so weird. But typically, and you can also zoom in, zoom out, yada yada yada. So recently, I've been to Planet Fitness. So it shows that I was at Planet Fitness. And usually, it would show the time. Yeah, I got there. What well, says Wine I Mall? From like 8.05 to the time that we left the place. How crazy, right? How crazy. <laughs> Significant locations. These are all locations that are being tracked from the iPhone. If they're going to their ex's house, or their cousin's house, or their friend's house, co-worker's house, friend's house. They didn't tell you that they were going there. <laughs> <clears throat> Last but not least, the number lookup. You see an odd number on their phone or even on your phone. If somebody's calling you from an unknown number on your phone and you're wondering who the fuck is this, you can actually go and search up the number. Go to Google and you go number lookup. And I'm gonna show you the legit one, but you can only look up so many numbers in one day and then it's like, okay, bitch, enough. You have to come back another day or take a break. I'll show you guys what phone number searcher I look, I use, okay, I use this one right here, number lookup. Num look up. You can enter the number, click I'm not a robot, even though a robot is asking you if you're the robot. Enter the number and it'll tell you a lot. It'll tell you the location. Do they does it show address? No. It shows you the name. Like for example, wait, should I do this? I was gonna use my number. But I wonder what pops up when I use my number. They'll do like a 10 second countdown. Oh yeah, it'll show you your service provider, phone type, or device type that's calling, and the owner's name. So ugh, I can't show you guys. Uh and it says the, the risk, so it'll either say risk high or risk low. Like if it's high, it's usually the spammer. If it's low, it's like a typical, regular, normal, actual human being. So mine one says risk low. Owner's name is available. The phone is not a VOIP phone number. It is operated by AT&T Wireless, which is true. I do have AT&T services. I'll show you the number, first, last name, phone carrier, everything. So that's, that's a golden one. That's the number lookup. Because they can tell you, oh, it's my mom calling, it's my friend calling, it's my old coworker calling, but it's really the person that they low-key fuck with. <laughs> so that's it, y'all. That is my How to Catch a Cheater Using an iPhone Part 2. I hope this video was helpful. Entertainment purposes only, with their permission only. I'm trying to hack? Like, no, this is not the video for that. I'm not the person. Okay, do what you do with this information. This is settings that we all have on our phone. Yeah, I sound crazy, but hey, these are just settings on an iPhone that everyone has access to and everyone can look at. I don't know. I mean, I hope that you don't find anything. If you do, 
do what you gotta do with that information and I'm sorry if you find shit in there that you don't like but people are grimy and at least you know now right because I would want to know I wouldn't want to just be like oh I don't check my partner's phone I don't I'm just not immature like that boop he's cheating on you boop he's lying he's lying to you spare yourself some bullshit girl and if you have permission go go and search for these things okay i need to stop <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video if it was helpful give it a thumbs up if you guys have any questions leave it down below in the comment section should i do another one should i not do another one should i spill more secrets should i not spill more secrets thank you guys so much for watching watch my other video if you haven't already that was super old that was a little heavier than awesome weight okay they still round, but not that round anymore. Thank you guys. Take care. I love you all. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>